first of all i would like to congratulate all those students who have got the interview call in upsc civil service exam conducted by upsc in 2023 and to those who couldn't get the call trust me this is not the end of the road you still have your dream you still have your eyes you still have your hands and you still can reach where you are destined to the only thing required is little more commitment little more hard work and little more determination so those who have got the interview call for them i have specially invited <coughs> dangar sir here today with me welcome sir thank you raji though there is no need to give introduction to such a famous <coughs> personality but i would like to introduce uh, sir to those students who are new who have got the interview call for the first time uh mr ms dagar he is an ex ias officer who has served as additional chief secretary as well as the home secretary with the government of gujarat and sir has a tremendous experience of guiding the students for the interviews with taking mocks and giving students a very authentic genuine and a very very subtle kind of a feedback so that the candidate is not presented as a tailor made kind of a person but as a natural talent that he or she carries in his or her own personality sir with your experience we would like <clears throat> to uh, make the students understand few of the difficult questions that they always have at the back of their mind which keep on bothering them so the first thing is sir that uh, what are the key things that a student should keep in mind while they are uh, uh, filling their daf particularly daf 2 Raji, <clears throat> on the basis of our experience of several years in mock interviews and grooming sessions, uh, I have noticed that uh, when they fill up their DAF one and DAF two, both are important. DAF two is more important because right, I mean you mention your hobbies and other uh, things in that. You cannot be casual, and you cannot be copy it from any other uh, candidate's DAF. Right, sir. So. first you take time about each and every point and then write and imagine at that time that the interview panelist will be having your def only nothing else about you you will be in front of them and your def so be sure that whatever you are writing in the def will be a basis for your interview your personality test will originate from your def right so second thing never go by advice of others take advice of professionals if you get stuck somewhere get advice of your mentors your 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 professors your other friends but not actually your peers because it is your def it is not right. a common def two things here i would like to mention that many of the candidates they write so many hobbies yes sir and probably they think that if we mention so many hobbies probably it will fetch more marks in the interview but that is not the case second thing we have seen is that the hindi medium students though their fluency is in hindi they still prefer actually english for the interview as the medium which is not correct we have seen many candidates they would have got more marks had they opted for the hindi rather than english so rather and right. third thing <clears throat> def is like it should be your genuine reflection of your you see what you are your experiences your job profile your category everything never try to hide any information write all factual details with utmost honesty and every time it should be on your table the def is like a bible it should be on your table right sir so that's very beautifully presented sir and i hope this will genuinely help the students who will be uh, filling their def now and uh, uh, i would also like to tell the candidates that uh, along with the mr abhishek saraf 2019 batch rank 8 madhya pradesh cadre ias officer we are having one program in which it's a very voluntary kind of an initiative from raj ias we are providing them a very detailed input on their def we have prepared a questionnaire 
with almost 1000 questions based on general observations of DAF and other 500 questions roughly on their individual uh, profiler. So in all, you will be getting those 1500 questions. And for that, you have to just, you know, contact my team and they will be providing you with that 1500 questionnaire. And obviously, yes, if you want that personalized kind of a thing, you have to share your DAF with us. And uh, once you share, you will get all the details from our side. And in the last year, uh, this program was very, very successful. And we had very tremendous success rate out of this DAF discussion. And moreover, it will not just be a document that we will be providing. It will be a discussion with me. I have an experience of more than now 20 years with Mr. Abhishek Saraf as and when he got time because he's a serving IS officer, but he's a very enthusiastic, very honest, very, very straightforward kind of a person who will give you a very, very honest feedback. Then obviously, yes, we have sir on our panel. We will be providing interviews online and offline and sir will take out his precious time to discuss your DAF. And with, along with sir, we have, we have few more panelists. We will be coming up with their details very shortly and they will be more than happy to interact with students to give them genuine, authentic feedback and to help them navigate this entire journey from today till the time they actually reach for their foundation course in Labasana, right? So this is what we are trying to do through this program that we are starting and all these details you will be getting uh, through this video in the links below. Meanwhile, sir, there is another question that, that usually come to mind of the students. Now, they have shown their objective knowledge in the pre and subjective knowledge in the mains. How about this personality test? How much of the factual information is important? And if they do not know the answer, uh, to how to handle that situation? Uh, <clears throat> Raj, let me be very frank on this. Yes, sir. The interview panelists are not looking for knowledge. Right, sir. They are looking actually, they want to know best out of you. They want to know your personality. What is your emotional stability? How honest you are? How capable you are? Right, and sir. how you are better than the other candidates? It is not about your knowledge. But yes, if you have a good knowledge base, that will definitely help you in forming your arguments. Your yes, strategy sir. is more important during the interview than the knowledge. So each and every day, I mean, should be meticulously planned, whether it is your newspapers, your group discussion or advice, guidance from the mentors. You should be very, very specific how much time you have to devote, but that should be without any stress. Because yes. you have already proved in the last two, uh, like you see, exams, the prelims and main. Now, this is the final uh, sort of, you see, a, 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 a place where you have to lend yourself and you have to prove that you are more suitable than yes. the other candidates. Exactly. And it is not about knowledge. It is not at all about knowledge. And if you are not able to answer few questions, maybe even four or five questions, it never matters. In yes. fact, it, it has never mattered because they want to know best out of it. What is your ideas, your ideologies, how honest you are, and how you form your arguments. And you see, what is your real personal, genuine personality? How honest you are, what is your ethical side? So those actually things are more important than the knowledge. But without knowledge, it becomes very difficult to form a good argument, good points. So yes, that is also equally important, but not very important because you have already proved in two exams yes, that you have that knowledge base. So here I would like to mention another fact for my students, dear students, that along with the DAF document that I have already mentioned and the discussions with me, with Abhishek sir, with Dangar sir and with other members on my panel, we will also be providing you some infographics in which the topics that are in news, they will be covered in one such way that you can mug up the things which is not exactly mugging up but understanding so that you can present them in your interview in a very, you know, uh, solicited manner or in a very, very, you know, uh, intelligible manner that can make your personality look better. So, yes, we will be providing you a kind of study material in a very logical way that will help you in a very subtle way 
विदाउट टेम्परिंग विद योर नेचुरल पर्सनैलिटी एट ऑल सर एन अदर क्वेश्चन दैट स्टूडेंट यूजली कम फॉरवर्ड विद कैन दे विजिट द सर्विंग डी सीज और डी एम्स और एस पी एस एस पीज एंड सी ग्राउंड रियालिटीज फ्रॉम दैम अबाउट देयर डिस्ट्रिक्ट देयर होम टाउन एंड देन आफ्टर मीटिंग दैम टेकिंग टिप फ्रॉम दैम टू वट एन एक्सटेंट दिस कैन हेल्प द कैंडिडेट्स इन इंटरव्यू राजी दिस इज नॉट कंपलसरी Yes, but sir. it is always advisable that they must vile must visit a village <clears throat> they yes, must sir. see the government institutions there whether it is a school whether it is patwari the health center the yes, sub police station and they should interact with the local people about the government schemes which schemes are more popular which schemes are not taking off i mean all those what benefits are given to the poor people the other uh, you see the developmental projects and after visiting the village they can go to the taluka place and subsequently may visit the dc office the sp office may interact not necessarily with dc or sp but any other person who is available there yes, then sir. it will definitely help them there is no right. doubt about it because right. they will know actually that where they are going to serve yes, what sir. will be actually their areas of functioning because yes, so sir. far actually it is all academics but yes, now sir. it will be towards practical side so yes this will help them tremendously this will enhance their confidence level and when they will be going to interview they will be speaking with authority that i have seen it with my eyes own eyes i have seen the village i have seen the patwari i have seen this scheme how yes, it is sir. working i have seen the dc office yes, so sir. yes they must actually right sir thank you sir that that's a wonderful advice sir specifically when we talk about the dressing on that particular day the attire for the boys and the girls is there anything that is a stereotype that they should a girl should always wear a sari or a boy should always come with a tie and a coat or is it like to your like natural that what you look and how you present yourself this i mean see we have seen in the last many years that always the the aspirants will ask about it the formal i mean whether i should be at this or that or whether the the female candidates should be at sari or uh, suit or whatever our experience is that it it is not very important but you should not be like you see different from others it should not it's not attract attention you should not attract attention of the board both ways so our advice is always be formal this is a formal occasion yes sir. so you have to be a, in a formal uh, dress and sari is preferable because right. i mean it is it is it is it is our like you see it is in our indian culture it is yes. our administrative ethos and it is a formal dress so it right. is advisable but it is not compulsory right the sir. only important criteria is that you must feel comfortable right whatever sir. you wear exactly if you are not feeling comfortable even a tie will become a like you see burden on you <laughs> yes sir you should look actually very comfortable but yes it is formal occasion whatever color whatever suits on you you must go for it right sir that's again beautifully presented sir i hope this will uh, help the students uh one more thing sir the students usually uh, talk about being nervous uh before this interview particularly once the results are out obviously yes they are jubilant they are very happy but at the same time there is a sort of nervousness and it keeps on increasing the day they enter the dholpur house in delhi so how to tackle with that nervousness sir yeah raji the reason for the nervousness is that they are interacting with so many in their peers group on day to day basis they are actually seeking advice from the seniors the it is some of them are working as sdms or provisioners or even dm and that put actually stress on them to my mind they should not bother about who is doing what but you see when you start comparing when you start taking so much of feedback from peers group it it is actually it is coming actually as a burden on you so when you have proved yourself in two exams this is this is not a exam at all you should go with such a matlab i mean confidence that it is only about your personality knowledge you have already proved and on the basis of your 
like this one one month or so the hard work and your group discussion and your mock interviews definitely it will take that nervousness out of you right. and, and this is nothing actually you have cleared prelims the toughest one and then the main exam so what is in this interview to my mind you should go with such a matlab uh, 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 see uh, confidence that you will be selected that's all right sir sir uh, rather uh, here i would like to tell students that at raj ies we have a very innovative idea of taking the reverse interviews now what i mean by reverse interviews where you feel nervous that i am not able to tackle this particular question with confidence or i do not find proper way of getting out of this question or this this you know trap so there i invite students to ask those questions to me or to my team members on my pan co panelist and they will give you the answer that if i would have been a candidate in place of you how i would have tackled this question and nobody else is doing this across india and we have a great expertise in tackling these kind of things where we then help student gain more confidence and then go for the interview with that ease right sir last question which is very important not just for students but for me as well to understand because it's been more than 20 years me telling students but very few students agree understand and then you know implement it how imp how important it is to not appear for many mock interviews because student then they do not lose a chance they appear for 20 30 40 mocks and everywhere they get tampered with their personality everybody is trying to twist them here or there and they end up being unnatural then so what is your advice on this same advice you see everybody knows too many mock interviews means too many feedbacks yes sir and mind you we all are human beings yes sir all panelists are human beings we have vast experience we have all actually we have served in the civil service but still we have our limitations yes, so a small negative feedback might remain in your mind yes sir so why why actually to encounter so many mock interviews we always advise that three are good yes sir. but not more than six all right sir and to my mind if if i am appearing today for mock interview i think Two will be okay for me, right, sir? Because <clears throat> I tell you, we started. I mean, around fifteen years back, we started in the interview this feedback system. Yes, sir. And when we came to Delhi, we came with that actually feedback system. But our experience is that ninety percent of the aspirants they don't take benefit of this feedback. Yes, sir. Our interview actually lasts for say twenty twenty five minutes. then we internally discuss then we call the candidates for the feedback and we take 15 minutes or 20 minutes and that is the time where they should openly and boldly ask questions which are bothering them yes sir because we are for them actually they are exactly so we right. expect the students to ask as you actually rightly mentioned the reverse you see the feedback mechanism that is the time when they should get all their doubts cleared yes sir for all interview board members they are looking for this yes but sir but they take it like actually a real interview and many of them rather 90% of them don't ask many questions yes sir they should take the advantage of this feedback very true sir so uh, dear students uh, with this uh, i will take the opportunity to say thanks to dangar sir who has taken out so precious time of his to share his ideas with us and i promise you one thing in this program that we will be carrying out both online offline uh, very soon you will get the details of our offline interviews venue in delhi we ensure you one thing only and only very high quality feedback and a very scientific and logical way to make your personality grow so that you face the interview with confidence and come out with flying colors thank you very much god bless you all